Welcome to the Area 41 Security Conference 2022. It has been a while, but we are finally back. Thank you for being a part of it. We hope you enjoy the experience. Please take your seat. We're about to start. Hello. Folks in the back, do you want to sit down because we have seats in the front row that nobody wants because people are scared of us, I guess? Um, there's also some seats over there. Um, as Candy said, we have seats upstairs. We should have space for everybody, so, um, yep. You want to do the honors? Perfect. So, welcome everyone to the Area 41 2022. Yes, it definitely has been a while. We all know uh, we definitely were hoping to do it a little earlier, as we will talk about. But yeah, it's good to be back. So my name is Candy West. I got Stefan Friedli, Adrian Wiesmann with me. So we are the, the core team of the Area 41. But of course, there's a few more people in the back as well. So all the people in the blue t-shirt with kind of a cat on the back are from the helpers team. Um, so if you have any issues, uh, please raise them with us as well, and we'll try our best to address them. And yeah, I'd say, Stefan, uh, how was your day going yesterday when you woke up? I, I guess nobody of you arrived by plane. No, uh, we, we woke This was the first thing we posted to our organizer chat yesterday. Because we were kind of happy that things were going well. Uh, as Candid said... Um, we had to make the hard decision to cancel two years ago. Um, two years ago? Three years ago? 2020. Two, yeah. two years. Yep. Uh, then last year, uh, things were a bit more ambiguous. But there's only three of us, and we needed to monitor everything. Um, very short notice, so we decided to play it safe. And I think that was the right choice for everyone involved. So this year felt like, yes, this is going to work. This is going to be great. And then that happened. So... We panicked a little bit, but it only took hours to resolve, so I think we're good. Um, so yeah, we're glad you all made it. I heard more people had trouble with the German railways than with planes, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, even SBB had some issues yesterday, but um, it wasn't us. Um, if it was someone from you, thanks for doing it yesterday, not today. But uh, yeah, please don't do it again. So yes, I mean, joke aside... We had to move it, as Stefan said. So, of course, we are we're also not too sure. And there's um, some financial deposits, of course, which we lose um, once we cancel and move it. Which is also, together with the feedback that we received from 2018, which was the last one we did, where we decided that we do a single track. Um, so, it's going to be one track here. There's going to be coffee breaks, lunch out there. And there's a workshop area as well. But before we go to that... Of course, we also need to thank the sponsors because, as I mentioned, yes, there is some money involved in getting this. We are all doing it voluntarily, so don't worry. We're not getting paid. Uh, we spend actually our vacation uh, sweating here. I mean, it's nearly the same temperature as at the beach, but yes, slightly different, I know. But we want to seriously thank Compass Security, Fortinet, and Google for being platinum sponsors uh, for this event. So please go and check out their booth out there. They have some nice swags as well. And to add that, we also got gold sponsors. Yeah, um, we were very fortunate that a lot of our sponsors, uh, not going to list them all because you see them on screen, but a lot of these folks have been with us for a very long time and have been more than gracious with us through those years that were difficult. As soon as we were back on track to plan this, a uh, ton of folks reached out. So please give a warm round of applause for all our amazing sponsors. Yeah, we were actually even in the nice situation that we had to decline some sponsors because we couldn't fit in more tables out there because uh, otherwise there would be even less room for you guys. Um, so thanks for again. And yes, just to give you a quick run through, uh, you find the map there. You can also scan the QR code. Don't worry, it's safe, right? What could possibly go wrong with QR codes? I mean, come on, if... You can't trust QR codes, then probably you have something else to worry. But there is a PDF with the agenda and also the map and everything available there. There's also a handout if you like the printed feeling. 
You already made it into the main track one room. You hopefully also made it through the coffee room because that's where kind of the entrance comes through. As I mentioned, there will be coffee breaks uh, sponsored by XOR Labs and there will also be lunch served. Um, there is, of course, a few things um, to drink as well. And we are looking forward to a barbecue, but more on that in a second. We will do a survey tomorrow. So come to the swag area, which is the kind of swag workshop area. Just if you go out to the right and you will find a nice paper where you can find some additional information and of course, fill out your feedbacks and we'll give a few uh, vouchers for Amazon and other prices. So uh, please provide your feedback. If you are in need of toilets, there are toilets on the way up. So if you go up the stairs, there's toilets. And at the entrance where you came in and received your badge, just after the scanning, there's a toilet downstairs as well. And for the barbecue, this one will be outside. Just follow the crowd, I guess. There's an entrance if you go up and out. And you can also exit through the workshop area. And probably you should mention the lock pickings as well, right? So as it's kind of a tra tradition by now, I don't know how many years we already had them, but the Spaß Verein is here again to teach you how to open physical locks. So if you really need to go into that data center and you can't find a root shell, well, maybe, maybe. I think they were with us before Area 41. I think they were already at hash days. They, they were, yes. Yeah. Uh, on one note, so we noticed it was a bit tight in the other space there uh, when everybody came in. So during the coffee breaks, uh, we'll, we'll serve everything out there, but please feel free to use this space as well during the breaks. Is the, is the terrace open? The terrace is open as well, yes. Amazing. So... As you maybe have noticed, summer falls on the first day this year in Switzerland, so you can and are encouraged to use the outside space as well. It's really nice weather. And uh, please, like, distribute and, um, yeah. And use sunscreen. At least I do. Um, yeah, if you want to stay inside and want to kind of get a brain puzzle, if you follow the link in the PDF online, there is kind of a brain teaser challenge. Um, as my colleagues here know, I, I used to love to do those uh, challenges. So there is a challenge hidden in the metal coin that you received. Uh, there's also a 50 euro voucher to be received for the first one to solve it. Uh, and that's all I'm going to give you for now. If you need more hints, uh, find me at the barbecue, I guess. And last but not least, yes, there is a Wi-Fi uh, provided here from Kaufleuten, Kaufleuten Gast. Um, this morning there was only one SSID. I'm not sure if there's more by now, but um, yes, you all know what to do. Play it safe or use 5G hotspots uh, if you really do need to work. We mentioned, <clears throat> and I'm already losing my voice, which is great. Um, we mentioned kind of there are coffee breaks, right? So yes, they will be provided and the nice barbecue. Since we are, of course, local here in Zurich, um, we collaborate together with Sternengrill. Um, some of you might know them from Bellevue. It's kind of the local barbecue entity, whatever we want to call it, right? So they will provide uh, some nice Bratwurst uh, today. And there will, of course, be some vegetarian options for those who selected uh, that as well. Again, this will be served outside at the venue. And there will also be free drinks. Um, so have a drink or a beer or whatever you prefer. It's as long as we have. So please make sure that everyone gets their first uh, sausage before you grab the second or third so that it's a fair distribution. And I guess last but not least, yeah, we should talk about mate, right? Because, yes, um, we all know we love mate, Club Mate. And, yeah, supply chain attacks are really, really getting tough now. Uh, well, we tried to get Club Mate, but we failed. Oh, I know. So we got a substitution. Uh, it's also a Mate, uh, Tony Mate. It's not a replacement, we know, but it's a substitution. Um, you can find it for free out there in the fridge. So hopefully that can still satisfy your thirst for some Mate drinks. You are aware we're never going to hear the end of this, right? I know, I know. It's going to be the number one feedback item. Hey, at least it's better than nothing, right? And it's free, so... Exactly. Hope, hopefully it should work. So coming to the swag, right? As of course it is getting warm, at least I'm on my second t-shirt already. Um, 
yes, a towel is very much appreciated. And we all know, don't panic as long as you have your towel with you. I know it's not towel day today, but we provided you a small towel. We hope you make good use of it. Follow the three, two, one rule, I guess. Uh, three hours of sleep, two meals, and at least one hour, right, of shower, something like that. Um, the second one is the nice arm bracelets uh, that Adrian is rocking there as well. And as you can see, they are, of course, connected to an electroshocker. Um, at least that's what we hoped. But now it's just that we can actually change the colors of those if they're connected. Let me see. This is the first demo of the day that's going to fail, potentially. Definitely. Hmm. Uh, well, Candid is trying to figure this out. Um, if you don't like swag, um, which I hear there are folks that have enough t-shirts, have enough towels, have enough everything, please drop the stuff off at the registration so we can give it away to people, that we can donate it, do something useful with it. Please, please, please do not take it home and throw it away. I think this should be a no-brainer, but we... We know people want to have swag, so we're doing it. Uh, we considered opting out of that, but that was not met with uh, positive responses. But please be responsible about that. Perfect. And yes, we made it work. Of course, uh, user error. So yes, they are controllable. It's on 433 megahertz, so feel free to change the colors as well if you want to. Uh, otherwise, we're going to play a little bit around uh, during the barbecue and maybe doing one or two of the sessions as well. And last but not least, the coin already mentioned there is something hidden in it. No, it's not an Apple tracker. Um, we tried to fit it, but they didn't want to make it. So, um, yeah, we put something else. Or did we? Well, we'll, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. And, yeah, I think last words are for you, Stefan. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of house rules. Uh, those of you who have been here before uh, know the drill, but since it has been a while, here's a quick reminder. Please be mindful of people's privacy. If you take pictures, even if it's just folks in the background, uh, check in with those if they want to be in, uh, in pictures. Some don't want that, and that's perfectly fine. That's to be respected. If you tweet about this event, uh, we appreciate it if you use the hashtag so we can see how, what you guys think and uh, can respond to stuff if there's anything not going well. Uh, so that should be fine. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, healthy, I guess, uh, is fairly clear now. We had that on the slide before COVID. We have it on there now. Um, COVID isn't over, even though Switzerland feels a bit like that sometimes. We do have masks at the reception area. Uh, feel free to grab those if you feel comfortable wearing one. Um, Set your own boundaries. Make sure that you are safe and that you can feel comfortable. And uh, yeah, stay healthy. And on a related note, we are very serious about our code of conduct. Have been for many years. If you have any interactions that are crossing boundaries that are not okay, that make you feel uncomfortable, please reach out to any of us, any of the staff. Have them call me, Candid, Adrian. We will follow up on every single incident. We hope that there will be none, as in previous years. But if there's anything where somebody feels unsafe, uh, we want to make sure that this is being addressed. Misconduct will not be accepted. We will ask people to leave if they um, dress, uh, transgress here. Uh, so I'll stop being the uh, authority figure here for a second and uh, move to the fun part, I guess. Yeah, and um, I guess fun part is, well, enjoy the conference, right? We have a few very good speakers lined up. Interact with the sponsors. Go and see the lock pickers. There's also the swag, so you can buy some more T-shirts if you sweat through the second one as well, um, or some nice coffee cups. And I guess let's start with some speaker as well, right? So... Who do we have, Stefan? Yeah, it's my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for today. Um, where is he, actually? He's here. He's wearing a very fashionable shirt. So please give a warm round of applause and welcome John Morgan Salomon. <laughs> 